if I just draw a line on this grid mm -hmm. and I ask you to find the slope mm -hmm. of the line, well, you just told me, you remember, that slope is equal to rise, rise over run. run. Good. And the rise represents the change in the y values, right? Yeah. So going up or down. Yeah. And the run is going left, left or right. right. It's a change in the x value. So we can either oh, count. Y value. And yeah. Value. And I'll show you why. So if I start here, okay, and I want to count the rise. So I can count from from this point to this point. Let's just count this segment of the line, okay? Yeah. So how the rise is a vertical. So it's it rises one, mm -hmm. two mm -hmm. squares, yeah. right? So positive two because yeah. we're going up by two. And then what? One, one two, two three. three. Okay, and we're going, we're going across by three. Yeah. So we have our rise, so the slope equals, what's the rise? Um, a rise is net positive two. Good, and the run? A run is positive three. Good, okay, that's the slope of the line. Oh. Now, it does, does it if matter? We solve that no, we can just no. leave it as a fraction. Okay. Does it matter which two points on the line I pick? What if I decide to pick this point? Let's use a different color. Let's do purple. This point and this point. Do you think there's going to be a different slope from this point to this point? Or do you think it's going to be the same? I think it's going to be the same. Yeah, well, let's check. But maybe the, with the rise and run switch? Or no, so let's switch. count. So oh, going up. From that, yeah, still the like same that. line. Okay. Yeah. So we're going up two, two. again and... Mm -hmm. One, One, two, two three. three. Still two over three. Yeah. Any single segment on the line mm -hmm. will have the same slope. And I can extend this. I can, if I want to extend the line, I can count one, two over one, two, three. Mm -hmm. And I know that the next point has to be here. And that still looks like a straight line, right? It does, yeah. If I decide That's to so choose, cool. yeah. You just have to do up the end. Yeah, sorry. and you can keep, and you can keep going. going. Yeah. But watch what happens. If I decide, let's say I want to use this point and so the first point and the last point. Yeah. Watch. So let's see how it, much it rises from the two green points. So one, two, mm -hmm. three, four, five, six. Yeah. Rises six, yeah. right? Plus six. The run, one, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Mm -hmm. Let's simplify this. Let's put this into lowest terms. What can both of these numbers be divided by evenly? Two. Uh, not nine. What three? number can go? Yeah, three. Oh, yeah, because yeah. Oh, that's true. Yeah, because because two goes into six, but not nine. Yeah, yeah. What's six divided by three? Um, three times two. Oh, yep. Two. Yeah. And then nine divided by three. It's just gonna be three. Exact same, same as thing that. as the other ones because yeah, it's the I same line. When they did that now in grade nine, when they were showing the yeah. to the similar and then the, oh, it Good. all makes sense to me. Okay, watch what happens when we count the other direction. So let's say I count going down. So let's use um, red. So I'll pick these two points. Okay. Well, the rise now. If I'm going down. If you're counting downwards, is that positive or negative? Negative. If you move down on a grid, good. Negative two. Then if I move to the left on a grid, one, two, three, is it's that? It's going to be negative as well. Right. Because it's going to be, is it negative because it's underneath this one? Because you're moving to the left. Think of a number line oh, on yeah. a grid. To oh. the left is negative. But these ways you're both moving to the right, right? Yeah. These ones, you're moving but it doesn't change the slope. The slope here is negative two. Let me write it over here. Negative two over negative three, a negative divided by a negative gives you a positive. So it's still two, two, two over, over three. Wow, that's so cool how yeah. that works. Okay, and even, let's let's try this one, watch what happens. So if we do, I'll use this color. Let's pick any point, doesn't matter which points we pick because the slope is the same on a line. So let's do this one and this one, okay? So down again, one, two, three, Four, so I'm moving down, so is it positive or negative? Mm, negative. Good. Over one, mm, two, two, three, four, five, six. six. Did I move left or right? It was left. So negative. it's negative. Yeah. A negative divided by a negative? Is a positive. Good. So we can rewrite this as positive four over six. Let's simplify this. Lowest terms. What can both of these be divided by? 
What goes into four and six evenly? Two. Yeah. Two. Two. Four divided by two? It's going to be two. Six divided by two is three. Three. Same thing. The slope will, won't change if it's a straight line. doesn't matter which segment you choose. Made with DoodleCast Pro.